This month in history, November. Hey Crash, today marks the day of our second last This Month in History installment ever. If I'm completely honest, I'm surprised you've stuck with it for this long. You know, it's been quite a roller coaster ride, but it's been worth it. The ups and downs, the side to sides, the fucking backflips and 180s. Everything has somehow been worth it in the end. Is that you speaking from the heart, or are you just glad to be nearly finished with the series? Don't force me to ruin such a nice moment, culture. Ugh, okay. Let's get this started. Na 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 November 1st! In 1977, US President Jimmy Carter raises the minimum wage from $2.30 to $3.35 an hour. In 2010, actor Charlie Sheen divorces socialite Brooke Mueller due to irreconcilable differences after two and a half years of marriage. Oh, come on! That's just asking to be made fun of! <laughs> November 2nd! In 1920, Adam Martin White became the first former professional American football player to be elected to the United States Congress. In 1983, US President Ronald Reagan signs a bill establishing Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. November 3rd! In 1954, the first Godzilla film is released and marks the first appearance of the title character, Godzilla. In 2014, the One World Trade Center officially opens. November 4th! In 1952, the United States government establishes the National Security Agency, or NSA. November 5th! In 1605, Guy Fawkes, involved in the gunpowder plot to assassinate King James I, is arrested. In 2009, US Army Major Nadal Malik Hassan murders 13 and wounds 32 at Fort Hood, Texas, in the deadliest mass shooting at the US military installation. November 6th! In 1965, Parker Brothers acquires the Forerunner patents for Monopoly from Elizabeth Maggie. Do you guys ever wonder if these assholes are all working together behind the scenes? Just me? Carry on then. In 2012, Tammy Baldwin becomes the first openly gay politician to be elected in the United States Senate. November 7th! In 1991, Magic Johnson announces that he is infected with HIV and retires from the NBA. In 1994, WXYC, the student radio station of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, provides the world's first internet radio broadcast. Yeah, I met one. Ha <laughs> ha, bet you didn't see that one coming. I said it in reverse. In 1923, in Munich, Adolf Hitler leads the Nazis in an unsuccessful attempt to overthrow the German government. In 1960, John F. Kennedy defeats Richard Nixon in one of the closest presidential elections of the 20th century to become the 35th president of the United States. No, no, November 9th! In 1960, Robert McNamara is named president of Ford Motor Co., the first non-Ford to serve in that post. In 1967, the first issue of Rolling Stone magazine is published. No, we'll In 1983, Bill Gates introduces Windows 1.0. What a fucking game changer! In 1989, German citizens begin to bring the Berlin Wall down. November 11th! In 1675, Gottfried Leibniz demonstrates integral calculus for the first time to find the area under the graph of y as a function of x. In 1992, the General Synod of the Church of England votes to allow women to become priests. November 12th. In 1555, the English Parliament re-establishes Catholicism. In 1993, the first Ultimate Fighting Championship event, UFC 1, is held in Denver, Colorado. November 13th. In 1940, Walt Disney's animated musical film Fantasia is first released, on the first night of a roadshow at New York's Broadway Theatre. In 1974, Ronald DeFeo Jr. murders his entire family in Amityville, Long Island, in the house that would eventually become known as the Amityville Horror. November 14th. In 1922, the British Broadcasting Company begins radio service in the United Kingdom. In 2008, the first G20 Economic Summit opens in Washington, D.C. November 15th, motherfucker! In 1791, the first U.S. Catholic college, Georgetown University, opens its doors. In 1971, Intel releases the world's first commercial single-chip microprocessor, the 4004. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this video over to Crash before he disrespectfully interrupts me again, as he always- Here are some notable people who were born in the month of November! Drake and Josh's Josh Peck. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio. Ah! Love that guy. TV personality Jimmy Kimmel. Only ever heard of him. Kimmel! 
YouTube star Rice Gum. Only ever heard of him, and the script says, fuck that guy. Okay. No, but did it feel good, though? And here are some wonderful people who passed away during this month. Arthur Roldal. Huh. Queen's Freddie Mercury. Made in Heaven. If you couldn't tell, Made in Heaven is my favorite Queen song. Actor Paul Walker. Daredevil, Evil Knievel. I miss you, Knievel. But do you know what I'll never miss? An opportunity to put on this badass costume! Fuck yeah! Wow, talk about disrespectful. November 16th! In 1920, Qantas, Australia's national airline, is founded as Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Services Limited. In 1904, English engineer John Ambrose Fleming receives a patent for the thermionic valve, the vacuum tube. November 17th! In 1982, Duck Koo Kim dies from injuries sustained during a 14-round match against Ray Mancini in Las Vegas, prompting reforms in the sport of boxing. In 2008, Twilight, starring Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson, premieres. Jeez, who else here wishes that day never happened? Raise your hands! <laughs> November 18th, almost there. In 1988, US President Ronald Reagan signs a bill into law, allowing the death penalty for drug traffickers. In 1928, the animated short Steamboat Willie is released, the first fully synchronized sound cartoon. This is considered by the Disney Corporation to be Mickey Mouse's birthday. November 19th. In 1969, Apollo 12 astronauts Pete Conrad and Alan Bean land at Oceanus Procellarum and become the third and fourth humans to walk on the moon. In 1990, pop group Milli Vanilli are stripped of their Grammy Award because the duo didn't sing on the Girl You Know It's True album. November 20th. In 1789, New Jersey becomes the first US state to ratify the Bill of Rights. In 1805, Beethoven's only opera, Fidelio, premieres in Vienna. November 21st! In 1877, Thomas Edison announces his invention of the phonograph, a machine that can record and play sound. In 1902, the Philadelphia Football Athletics defeated the Canoeola Athletic Club of Elmira, New York in the first ever professional American football night game. November 22nd! In 1936, Life magazine is reborn as a photo magazine and enjoys instant success. In 1968, the Beatles released The Beatles, known popularly as The White Album. November 23rd. In 1992, the first smartphone, the IBM Simon, is introduced at Comdex in Las Vegas, Nevada. In 1889, the first jukebox goes into operation at the Palais Royale Saloon in San Francisco. November 24th. In 1963, in the first live televised murder, Lee Harvey Oswald, the assassin of President John F. Kennedy, is murdered two days after the assassination by Jack Ruby. In 1859, Charles Darwin publishes On the Origin of Species, a landmark book in evolutionary theory. Fucking nerd. November 25th. In 1984, 36 top musicians gather in a Notting Hill studio and record Band-Aid's Do They Know It's Christmas in order to raise money for famine relief in Ethiopia. In 1999, the UN establishes the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. November 26th. In 1789, a national Thanksgiving Day is observed by the United States as proclaimed by President George Washington at the request of Congress. In 1917, the National Hockey League is formed with the Montreal Canadiens, Montreal Wanderers, Ottawa Senators, Quebec Bulldogs, and Toronto Arenas as its first teams. Oh yeah, November 27th. In 1835, James Pratt and John Smith are hung in London. They are the last two to be executed for sodomy in England. In 2005, the first partial human face transplant is completed in Amiens, France. November 28th! In 1814, the Times in London is for the first time printed by automatic steam-powered presses, signalling the beginning of the availability of newspapers to a mass audience. In 1914, following a war-induced closure in July, the New York Stock Exchange reopens for bond trading. November 29th! In 1972, Atari announces the release of Pong, the first commercially successful video game. In 1899, the FC Barcelona Association Football Club is founded. November 30th! In 1982, Michael Jackson's second solo album, Thriller, is released worldwide. It will become the best-selling record album in history. 
In 1872, the first ever international football match takes place at Hamilton Crescent in Glasgow, between Scotland and England. Well, there you have it. The second to last episode! Dead and dusted! I know, culture! I know! After this series finishes, what would you guys like to see? Another new series, or perhaps more of our already established content? We'd love to know what you guys are interested in. Please don't suggest anything boring. Hosting the show alongside culture already gives me plenty of that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and learned something interesting. As always, thanks for tuning in. Crash, are uh, you forgetting something? What? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, mm. Gandhi reference. There we go. Now we're done here. See you guys next week. Follow Culture Crash on social media.